you're welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are told that using the angles of 45 degree and 60 degree set square as basis construct angles 146 one quarter by bisection now the first thing you're going to do to construct 146 one quarter is that you do the same thing we did every time you're going to draw your line this way right and you mark the first point point a and what point b now the next thing you do you're going to extend this then we have the second now we're using our um what is what is called the set square and we know very well that if i should draw a vertical line this way this is what 90 right now i will now take the other one which is 45 degree i'll place it here and this is what we'll call angle what 45 degree so if this is 90 this is 45 degree at the left hand side which is making 135 degree right now we know the horizontal one here if i now extend this a little bit so we know we are in between here and here is 45 just like between here and here is also 45 right so what i'll do is i'm going to bisect this 45 here so if i bisect it i'll place my compass this way and i'll strike an arc like this so where the strike cuts the horizontal i'll call it a prime where it cuts the 45 degree inclination i'll call it a prime prime now i'll place my compass at a prime at any given radius I will strike an arc. I place my compass on A prime prime at any given radius. I will also strike an arc this way. So when they meet, I will say that is my point what my point C. So I'll draw a line that will pass through point C from what from point A. This way. So when it, when that happens, I'll be having this this way. And that angle there, if this is this will be twenty two and a half here. Right, so in between here and here is in two and a half, and in between here and it's in two and a half. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect in two and a half again. So, when I bisect in two and a half again, I'll just take my compass at this point where it cuts here, I'll call it my point D. So, place your compass at point D, strike an arc. This is at point A prime prime, check another arc. So where they meet will give us 11.25. Right? That's 11 one quarter. So I'll place it this way to pass through that point here. So to pass through here, I will take it. You can see that? So when you add 135 plus 11 one quarter to give you 146 one quarter so the angle between here and here from this point from this point straight down to this point you can see that will be To be one one four one four six sorry one four six one over four degree we can confirm that and see if we are actually correct so let's see so i place my protractor on that line this is 90 right this is 135 that again then uh, we have 140 145 146 one quarter you can see that you can check that very well and confirm this is 90 100 110 120 130 140 so this is 140 here and this is 145 146 one quarter at this point here so this is what we have there you can see that so that's how you construct 
what you have constructed. The same thing is applied to the other aspect too by using just majorly your um, your compass to construct is that the key? so if I am to construct this using my my compass what I will just do is I will do the same thing draw a line this way right mark a point point A point B is that the key? then um, the next thing I am going to do is I will extend AB this way right and I'll take my compass place that point A and I'm going to draw a semicircle so where the semicircle cuts the horizontal I'll call it here A prime I get to be what A prime prime is that again now with any given radius I'll place it at A prime I'll check an arc I'll place it at A prime prime I'll also check an arc so where they are meeting is at let's say point C. Then I'm going to draw a line that will pass through point C from point A. And this is what we actually have. And this is my 90 degree. Now if I bisect 90, if I bisect, where it cuts the semicircle, let me call it point D. So I'm going to bisect D and A prime prime because D and A prime prime is equal to what? D and A prime. Both of them are giving us 90 degree. So but I'm putting my 90, my 45 at the left hand side, which will be 135 degree. So I place it on my D. I'm going to strike an arc. I place it on my A prime prime. I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll call it point what? Point E. Is that okay? Now I'll draw a line that will be passing through point E from point A. So if I draw a line passing through point E from point A, I'll be having this, right? So where they cut at this point here, let me call it my point F. Is that okay? Now what I'm going to do is, FA is equal to what? FD, and that is for 5 degree. I'm going to bisect F and A prime prime here. So if I do that, place it in at A at F, I'll check an arc. Put in at A prime prime. I also check an arc. So where they meet, I'll call it point what? Point arrow. So from I'll draw a line passing through point arrow from point A, and I'm going to be having something like this. Right? So what I'm having is giving us what? 22 and a half. So this is 45. This is 90. And this is what? 22 and a half. Now the next thing is where it cuts here, the 22 and a half inclination line, I'll call it point what? Point P. So I'm going to bisect between F and P to get what 11 point 11 one quarter. Right? So if I bisect F and P, let's just put it this way to make work more easier for us. If you have found this, this video way, helpful, so if I bisect, you don't forget to from point F, subscribe give ridges or strike. Like, and share from the point video. P also. Thanks for watching. Also check another arc. So where they meet at this point here is my 11 one quarter. So I'm going to draw a line that will pass through that point and I'll take it. Right? So that angle you are seeing from here straight down to here is giving us what? Um 146 1 over 4 degree. So this is how you construct both of them. I'm just showing you for the benefit of what? Of knowledge. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching.